internet welcome back to anti-heroes in exandria or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us i'm Kay, the dungeon master for this fifth edition dungeons and dragons show <laughs> before i get into announcements nick can you start us off with some player introductions please sure hi i'm nick i play easter selberg the human arch fae page and warlock uh, I'm Ethan. I play Zofdal Zephyrax, the Dragonborn Graviturgy Wizard. Hi, I'm Zach, and I play Bonks, the Bugbear Barbarian. I'm Melissa, and I play Angelica, who is a Fearbolg <sighs> Druid. Angelica Jacobson. Angelica Jacobson. Uh, <laughs> so we premiere our episodes uh, on YouTube every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Tonight we are going to continue our side campaign that is set in Wildmount. Um, the character portraits that you can see in the stat cards, cards over that way Words. are, <laughs> you know, one of these times I'm going to get it without, yeah. yeah. Just in time uh, for us to give it back to a completely different thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just in time for me not to have to do the announcements yeah. anymore. Um, the character portraits over there are by me. Check the video description for links and information, uh, along with some updated Black Lives Matter resources. Follow us on Twitter at Antiheroes Anon for news and updates. And finally, enjoy the show, share it with your friends, and come back next week for some more. Without further ado, let's jump into our intro video. <laughs> Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. I've got a lot on my mind, all right? I'm running a dungeon tonight. Let's uh, jump in with a recap. The misfits have traveled to the Savalier Wood to check on an ominous vision that Angelica Jacobson saw of her homeland. They found that the forest's wildlife had become corrupted and vicious and that the Fearbolgs of Wisteria Hollow were seemingly ignoring the problem until the Nightback clan took drastic action by kidnapping Angelica's betrothed. The party promised the clan of Tabaxi that they would investigate and guided by the Tabaxi Druid Blossom, they journeyed to the glade, believed to be the source of the corruption, but the formerly beautiful grove has become choked with thorny vines and thick fog, and worse yet, is now home to fey spirits with hostile intent. Ooh, spooky. So we're and going to pick up. The leaves just say Angelica Jacobson. Angelica Jacobson. <laughs> Another way of saying we're going to fight with some fey spirits. Yeah, so uh, last week we, we uh, left off in the middle of an encounter against two glowy uh, bobs of light that were very hostile um, that Easter identified as will-o'-wisps. We're going to start at the top of the initiative count with the wisps themselves. So here we go. Let, let's see if I can remember how to play these things. <laughs> All right. I think they like to pass their turn normally for like roll a die or something like that. Oh, you know what? That's right. They do do that a lot. Yeah, for like a percentile die. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, they're like, nah. Nah. All right. Well, <laughs> run away. I think they're in good places right now. They're just going to shock 
some people with their shocking attacks. Um, looks like we have Bonks. That is a 18 to hit. Hits. Nine lightning damage. Okay. And Zoph. Another 18. That hits. Nine uh, lightning damage. Let me, let me check if I can actually shield that. I don't think I can. Uh, no, because my AC is only 11. Right. <laughs> Nine lightning damage, you said? Nine lightning damage. <laughs> Shocking experience, indeed. I'm sorry. I'm in a mood tonight, you guys. This is, this like is, this is, what's, this is what we're doing. Um, all right. Then... It is Blossom's turn. She can smell blood in the air. <laughs> I know. I'm just very excited for actually coming up GPK. with a difficult encounter. <laughs> Y'all can. Maybe. Blossom's up next. Um, how are you guys looking? Just fine. Like Zoph, Zoph and, and Bonks looking okay still okay. so far. Yeah, I'm okay. That All right. uh, that last one just took down my temporary hit points. So I only am right. one hit point down. Good. In that case, um I'll do more she damage. is just going to she has her quarter staff that is glowing with this like greenish like spring green color energy. Um Oh she. And she's just going to swing the quarter staff at this motherfucker again cuz she's very frustrated cuz she can't seem to hit it. And I don't think that's going to be enough either, baby. You can do this. Nope. Nope, you can't. Oh, oh dear, hey. Blossom. So she's just over there cursing in a language you don't speak. She might be making up the curse words you don't know. Um, Bonks, that's your turn. All right. Well, I'm going to do what I've tried this whole time and do an attack. Yeah. Because there's not much else I can do right now. Yeah, do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, that's my hit, actually. 21? Yeah, that hits. Yes! All yeah. right. Uh, how does 10 damage do? Which weapon are you using? The maul. Okay. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Um, maths. Yep. All right. Yeah, it takes some of that damage. It's resistant, yeah. <laughs> Anything else in your turn? Nope. I don't cool. think I need to move. We're just going to sit right under. I have this move. whole area that would be very easy to see, but you guys are hanging he's, out right under my tripod. Over this. <laughs> I can't move anywhere. I'll move if you, you want me to. Through. You can go through your allies. But I think you're safe right there. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I totally don't mind. Fine. I don't mind just sponging the damage for you a little bit. <laughs> Angelica, you're up. Okay. Angelica is um, pretty hurt, actually, I I'm, think. Well, I still have the temp hit points. Do I'm, you? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because, wait, I should have used those first. So yeah, those I'm only like, first. I'm only like down one also. Oh, um, wow. Okay. Uh, I want to create a bonfire under one of them. <laughs> I called it. Did I not call it? <laughs> yeah, you did. I was like, I better make sure I have my red marker. Hey, someone decides to make a bonfire. Someone. I'm someone. just trying. You yeah, know. it's a good idea. It's, it's fine. great. Yeah. Where Where are you putting it? Angelica Is it a deck save bonfire, though? Bonfire, Jacobson. It's It's mm-hmm. come in really handy. Um, to whichever one is hurt the most, because okay. it's uh, a sixty foot range. Okay, so we'll put it under under the guy that's under the tripod. Pardon me as I do the little King Zora scoot. I wonder how you tell how a little ball of light, how damaged well, it is. Well, she's seen which one's been hit the most. Yeah, that's true. So even if she can't tell who's more damaged. All right. And what do I have to do? Uh, uh, it's a, a save DC 14. But what kind of save is it? Deck save. They fail. What? What? No way. Nuh-uh. It rolled real low. <laughs> oh, wow. Lucky. lucky barely. Lucky, it lucky. barely failed. That's... Roll your damage. A D8. Right. Oh. 
Uh, hey, Zof, now we're going to find out what fire does to these things. Yeah, we'll see if I was okay. foolish in not choosing fire. <laughs> Only a two. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Um, yeah, so even though it failed its save, it doesn't seem like it affects it too much. Okay. Oh, well. I feel a little bit better. <laughs> All right. Anything else? You gonna move? You got any bonus actions? Um, I already did. I already did hidden step. Um. Okay. I I think I will. No, I'll just stay here. I'm I, I'm done. Okay. All right, then it is Riot and Easter. Right. Uh, Riot's going to set up that one that she's next to. Mm -hmm. And then Easter is going to ha has that crystal in hand and narrows her eyes at the Will of the Wisps and spits on the crystal and polishes it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make an attack an advantage with Eldritch Blast. Um, it's a dirty 20. Does that hit? That, yeah, that hits. Yay! I finally got a hit in. Let's see here. So that will do. Nice. Um, eight force, three necrotic damage. How do you want to kill it? Yay! With prejudice. <laughs> Yoink. Nice. With prejudice. Yeah. Did you just say you shoot out this Eldritch Blast and the thing just fizzles into nothing in the midst of the flames that Angelica has conjured? Okay. Now East is going to go forward, by the way. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Where where would she like to go? Uh, have... I think she can get just to the left of Riot. Yeah, like here? Yeah, there. Okay. That's good. Oh, hey, Easter. Where were you hiding? <laughs> Where you a smart run. person stands, and <laughs> Easter um, uses her bonus action to transfer the hex onto the other Will of the Wisp. Okay. Same disadvantage on dex, dex checks? Yep. I don't think it can change up which set, but I, it, I do get a disadvantage. Oh, okay. All right. That lasts an hour, too. So if we get into an encounter in the next hour, I can just automatically hex something. That's good. Useful. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool. Zof, you're up. Uh, remind me again which one in front of I know that. Is it just the one in front of me that's a Will of the Wisp? Mm -hmm. This is a Will of a Wisp. This is the uh, bear spirit that Angelica concert conjured right. at the start of the combat and this is blossom okay then i will just point blank magic missile this wisp uh which and hits. you don't get any any uh penalties for fighting firing yeah, it because it's auto, magic missile auto hit just yeah. hits. So, cool um, cool i love that trying to see how many well it's not a lot of damage but you know sure though uh, it's sure what it kind of damage sure. does magic missile do Force. Okay. Five, six, plus three, nine force damage. All right. Yeah, that one takes the full brunt of the attack right in its, well, is it its face? Is it its butt? It's real hard to tell. Mm. <laughs> and then I'll just growl at it. <laughs> trying just to be floats. all scary. Just floats there. Yeah. All right, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're back at the top, and the wisp is going to shock Zof. Good Darn. luck. Hey, yeah. I rolled real low. Oh, okay, good. So that's only an eight to hit. Ha! It misses. Yeah. Yeah. So lucky me. Yeah. So then Blossom is going to. You know what? I'm going to. She's going to do something different this time, and I need to 
pull up her stat block because I always forget to bring that up for whatever reason at the start of combat. Just one moment. There she is. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to uh, be any better though. But she'll try it. So she kind of is holding the staff off to the side and in her free hand, she conjures, uh, it's like this glowing bright green energy that coalesces into a long vine-like whip that's covered in thorns. And she whips it towards this, um, towards this poor floating ball of light. We'll see. Whoops, so yes. Floating ball of light. Floating ball of light. And she misses poor. spectacularly again. She just throws the whip down on the floor. Man, aren't you guys happy you brought her with you? She's helping out so she much. She can heal too, so she it's is, all good. Though. All right. Uh, Bonks, She's also you're another up. target. Uh, okay. Bonks is also going to move. He is going to move to the left of the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, so here? Right there. Yep. Okay. Does Zof want to be in melee? No. Um, I could convert one of my attacks to a shove and shove Zof out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, I, I can move next turn if I need to. Okay. Uh, yeah, because my... Being able to hit this thing is going to be really difficult, but we'll try. All right. Uh, nope. That's probably not going to It's a 14. Nope. That misses. Woof. Woof. That's it. All right. Angelica? Okay. What else does Angelica have up her sleeve? <laughs> not much. Um. So the bonfire didn't really do much to it. So... It's still there, though. It's still there. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emitting I think, light. I think if it didn't, if it didn't move, it should have made a de another dex saving throw. Well, I looked up died, the spell. It it, oh, it yeah. did die. It did. You killed the one that was in the. Thing. Oh, that that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but I did look up the spell just to check, and it's creatures who enter the range or enter the area for the first time on their save or if they end their turn there they have to make the saving throw again but otherwise it does it's there's no penalty if you start your turn there yeah okay yeah okay so i'm just gonna get out my scimitar then i'm close enough to hit it which one am i <laughs> you're this one you're not close enough to hit it at all but you okay, could definitely then I'll move get, up there then i'll get my sling out then okay last time i tried my sling i was too close i think so that's why i thought i was closer Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sling is a plus three. Ooh, 18 plus three, 21. That hits. Sweet. It's not very strong, but <laughs> it's three bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't seem to do much. Take off ammo. Any damage is good damage, Boink. though. So, you know. Boink. Like, bounces off the head. Like, Are you sure it was its head? <laughs> Could have been its butt. You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's why it didn't say little damage. Just, just like, the soft, <laughs> like soft <boing>. part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Riot and Easter, you're up. Okay. Uh, okay, forgive me. Okay, Riot is going to move just to its right in that little pocket and harass it a little bit. Uh -huh. And Easter is going to move two spaces above uh, Riot. Back so under that, the tripod. So that, not all the way back under. Um, <laughs> so that a, a push might get it away from self. Oh, nice. It, does it get pushed 10 feet? Because um, the tree would be in yeah. the way. Well, but you could, might be able to move it this way. Yeah, like I think here. I can move it. As long as it's like away from me, I think I, I don't have to move it directly in a line. You know? OK. Yeah, I would move it like that space between Bonks and and, uh, and Angelica. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I hit it all though. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear that. I, don't, it was I didn't hit. Very quiet. Miss. I missed. 
<laughs> Zof, you're up. Oh man. Oh man. Um, so that's, well, you're in the way of that and you're in the way of that. So I can't use my dragon breath attack because people are in the way. Honestly, if I, uh, I, would, ha! I would just I engage and run. <laughs> uh, I'm going to slash it with a dagger. So it pulls a, <laughs> a very ornamental and useless looking letter opener uh, <laughs> off of their belt. <laughs> uh, it's a miss. Yep. Yeah, it's a miss. <laughs> that's eight. So um, that's my turn. Okay. It's the Wisps turn again. And it is surrounded, but Zoth is the only one that's done damage to it that's standing here, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly the scariest one. Well, no, Angelica yep. did, did hit well, it in the butt. Yeah, that's true, but she's all the way over <laughs> or there. Or it's like yeah. fourth hind leg, we're not sure. Yeah, yeah it was all true. the way over there. Um, yep. And Zoth just hit it with a bunch of magic missiles, too, yeah. so... Basically it's not. The I was not really hoping it would be dead by this point. Really it's was. uh 12 to hit. I will cast shield. Hey. And so it does not hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And then it's Blossom, and she is going to kind of put her hands on her hips, and she's like, this is actually ridiculous, you know. Um come on, Blossom, you can do it. With you more. Ugh, she goes with her staff again. Natural 20! <laughs> Yay! Yes. Woo! All right. Let's Kill your own monsters, does. Kay. Kill it them. Makes, it makes up for it. Makes up for the misses. Actually, yeah, with a... Well, I will... Does somebody want to roll damage for her? She what would get 2d8 with a critical... I'll let, I'll let Zerf roll this because Zerf doesn't really get to do any damage in this fight. <laughs> uh, six. All right, that's not quite enough. Well, but it's I almost. Tried, guys. It's I like know. fizzling out. But she's like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. She's like smacking the thing on its butt. Are you um, sure? Bonks, are you going to do this? Uh, I'm going to inspect to see if it really was its butt. <laughs> Make a perception check. All right. <laughs> I need some, like... I don't even want to know how you're going to um, tell. I got a five. You stare at it for a second. Hmm. And then you kind of have to blink because it's like, you know what happens when you kind of stare at the sun for too long and you have that, like, black mark in your vision? That's kind of what's happening right now. You're okay. like, oh god, oh god, ah, oh that's right. annoying. Never mind. Maybe it is its butt, and then I swing <laughs> at it. Uh, see if I can do this. Oh well, I think I can because that was a twenty-four. Yep, and that a 19 hits. Nineteen on die, so that hits. Roll your Come damage. On. Oh, that's almost max damage. Shoot, it's an eleven oh. plus three, nice. so that I was sure you would roll a one. Fourteen. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how many hit points it had left because I think you might be angry. One. But how do you want to do this? <laughs> I will clunk it right in its uh, kneecap, uh, and like, and the the weight of the hammer just brings it all the way down into the ground and just with a so thump. You bring it down. Yep. And you just see the light disperse under the hammer yeah, and fade exactly. into nothing. Yep. And you get a trophy. <sighs> Finally. And everything is Things quiet. are menaces. Everything I need someone quiet. to draw some art of a little ball of light with just really exaggerated cartoon butt cheeks that are like shiny. <laughs> you know? No, don't don't do that. Yeah, do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't All right, do viewers. That. <laughs> you have a mission. <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and turn the camera off now, please. I'll think about it. <laughs> Unless you're gonna use that space to draw the butt cheek thing, because that would be okay. Maybe next time. All right, all right it's off. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Well, oh, all right. If that was any more of those in this forest. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like the hmm? 
I can see why you don't like them. They're Very so illuminating experience. Mean. And mm. at least they weren't bigger, though. Imagine if they were bigger. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Man, we were on their wisp list. You should think for a minute. It says, you know, so if they sure could have been heavier. <laughs> you think that would have done much? I, I mean, I could have. I could have tried. <laughs> or denser ribbon. Um, not necessarily. I mean, I don't know. Weight just, is tied up into just, that. Like, but... I just, I just hate the way they flit around. <laughs> mm. It makes it me so mad. It would have made them slower. That's true. That might have been a good idea. Does I it, was pretty useless otherwise. Does it reduce AC or just their like dexterity? Uh, type? their strength and their speed. Hmm. Mm. Ah well. Ah well. Whatever. Fingers crossed we don't run it anymore. Yep. Blossom folds her arms and she looks at Easter and she says, yes, I'm I'm with you. Those things suck. They suck. They I do. don't think that any of us here are arguing in their favor. Uh, Zofa will look around the group and uh, kind of take in everyone and say, well, do we need a, do we need a little rest or... Are we good to keep going? Uh, um, does anybody really hurt? I can cast Healing Word. I'm at like yeah, two you, thirds, but you folks are the one in the thick of the fighting, not me. I'm no. like almost I'm at, almost a half HP, but um... I was hiding under that tree the whole time. <laughs> I'm not very hurt, but I did use a fair amount of magical energy that I could recover a little bit of if we had some time. We can take a little rest if you want. Yeah, sure. Okay. Easter, are those know. are those things attracted to something? Like, why would they be in this spot in this forest? I mean, usually what they do is they pretend to be helpful. And you know how um, Angelica over there has been asking every twig and branch um, to light the way <laughs> for us. I kind of thought that they might have said, hey, we'll tell you where the heart of the forest is. Just follow us. And then, <laughs> bam, pit trap. <laughs> or something. I see. Or something. Well, good thing I didn't then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Yes, it is very odd. They don't usually appear. Uh, in these kind of places, but well, everything about this place is unusual, so who knows what else is waiting for us in here. Easter will not really needing to do, take a long rest or, or much of anything. I guess I get all, all, all my one spell thoughts back. Um, but we'll take the short rest to teach Blossom a song. Okay. I was going to say Blossom would, would ask if you wanted to sit watch, stand watch with her while everyone else rested because she doesn't yes. really need a rest either. Yes. So, and it's yeah. An incredibly annoying watch for Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of song are you teaching her? Um, just like a song that Easter and her uh, fellow servants would sing while they did the housework. Okay. Why don't you... Uh, Roll a performance check. Sure. Uh, what have I got here in performance? Okay. I was going to be so mad if that was a really high roll after all of my just <laughs> crap <laughs> to hit rolls, but it wasn't that high. It was just a 14. That's not too bad. You know, Blossom doesn't wholly dislike it. Okay. By the end, she seems kind of amused, and you can see her kind of tapping her foot to the beat a little bit. All right, so you all take a short rest. You can go ahead and mark that on your character sheets. And 
I'm not um I'm not spending any hit dice, but I am going to use arcane recovery. Get two sure. first level spell slots back. Sure. Sure. Yeah, roll those hit dice if you want to recover HP. I did. Still a little hurt, but not as bad. Great. And, you know, it's... I don't want to say it's quiet, because every so often you can hear the sounds of branches shifting in the breeze, or um, what sounds like animals, maybe or something traveling through the foliage in the distance, or the cries of ravens in, from the sky, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but nothing bothers you. And there are no more of these spirits that, that pop up while you're hanging out in this grove. Are the leaves whispering Angelica Jacobson? You know, why don't you make a perception check? Yes, I would love to do that. Oh, I rolled a natural one. Never mind. So I'm just they imagining. They absolutely it. are. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm like. You are hmm. so sure. So sure. Hmm. It's the haunted <laughs> woods. All of a sudden. <laughs> um, How do they know? Okay. So, what do you guys? What's the plan? South. Yeah, you see, east, so you see, Bonks write some stuff in his notes after that. <laughs> his journal. He's like, mm, this is interesting. I don't know about this. All right. And when you're ready, you gather your things and you follow the path south. Okay. Following the path, you enter a cloud of extremely thick fog, obscuring your vision of anything further than five feet away. As you proceed, you spot a few pink petals in the foliage to the west. You come to a fork in the path. One fork continues south while the other veers off east. And the petals are marked to the west, right? Can I? Take a look at those petals and see if there's anything, uh, like if they seem like anything one might use for arcane purposes. Yeah, make a make an arcana check. Can I do a check to look for hidden pathways, anything like that? Uh, yeah, I'll, you can I'll make a I think survival it's check. Serv formally. You could do survival or investigation, but either one okay. would normally be at disadvantage. If Easter's helping oh. you, then it's just a straight roll mm. because yeah. you're about... in this very thick fog. Mm. How okay. about guidance? You can, guidance would, would not you go can guide. This. Yeah, you can guide him. All right, let's do it. That's a D4. Was, uh, 23 on the Arcana. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, so there might be spells out there that need flower petals as components. Um, these would certainly work if that was true, but um, you don't really sense anything inherently magical about the petals themselves. They just seem hmm. like mundane petals. Would have been a okay, 17. I'll scoop them up. Oh, sorry. But okay. we got a 21 because of guidance. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, so you kind of very carefully look around what exactly are you so, like doing to find to look what are you looking for so, precisely like I'm, I'm guessing these paths are sort of neatly like or maybe in some way like telling that they're like there's a clear path here and a clear path there and i'm like i don't trust this place anymore so i'm gonna just like look i'm like i see these paths i'm like okay but then i'm gonna well, turn i'm gonna like pivot yeah i i was thinking we should look around where those petals were because we yes. know that that the grove had all those petals. So yeah. Like, maybe there's a hidden way that these petals are pointing us toward. So that's how Easter helps you. Yeah. yeah. Kind of points you in that direction. Yeah. So I think Bob um, kind of stands at the crossroads and he's like, I don't, I don't think, I think there's more to this place. And then Easter probably comes along. And then between the two of them, they're looking at the petals and looking at like in other locations, trying to scan and walk around and, and coordinate within this fog, this dense fog to see if they can find something else. Yeah. Um. So you do that. And 
what you find are more petals, but you get to a point where the foliage is so thick that it's just not passable and there is no no discernible path and you find yourself kind of getting a little turned around the farther away you get from the clear path okay and i talk to the foliage and, and ask them to open up for us you can try <laughs> yeah persuasion check it advantage i guess yep One of these plants is going to listen to you, dang it. <laughs> One of them. That is a 19. What do you say? <laughs> that, um, what kind of foliage is it? Just kind of those the same? Yeah. Things? Yeah. Bushes and ferns and, and vines. and. Okay. So I pick up a petal and I say, we need to get to the heart where these are growing. Open up and let us get through, please, please, please. Okay, you wait for a minute and another minute. Mm. Nothing happens. Uh, but you kind of look down and you can see a, a fern and its leaf was curled kind of like this. And you see it kind of unfurling. And as it lands on the path, it's, it looks like it's almost pointing south. Oh. Did you see that, guys? Maybe the fern's trying to point the way. Do you want to try it? Uh, as good as anything else. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. Nice job, Angelica. <laughs> Finally. I knew that you talked about the little fern. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You're very helpful. I was like half hoping that that was just like Easter using a very discreet mage hand to like make something happen, <laughs> make Angelica feel better. I could name be. one we'll of my know. pets. I yeah. might name one of my pets after you, Fern. <laughs> the world may never know. All right, so <laughs> you decide to head south, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. The ground in this area has partially collapsed, forming a shallow gully on the east side. You can also see a glimpse of pink blossoms through the canopy to the northwest. The path continues south along the western edge of the gully, but there's, there also seems to be a tunnel within the gully leading further east. A smaller, less traveled trail branches off to the west, but it is blocked by a curtain of thick, tangled, thorny vines. The west would put us closest to those blossoms we can see in the distance, right? I think so. Is it still foggy here? No. Okay. Um, all right. So there's a gully to the east. Um, and we could cross over it, right? You could go down into it, and there's a tunnel inside the gully leading oh, okay. east. Well, maybe we can hack our way through the thorny vines if we want to try to go west. I can certainly try to move again. It worked yeah. well last time when you asked. He's just like, yo, the ones with the blades. <laughs> the I have extras, ones, Easter. They're Those they're kind of their little letter opener. <laughs> they're kind of stinky, aren't they? Though the the thorny vines aren't very friendly. Hey, but didn't we kind of get in all this trouble because your dad chopped down some trees? Hey, we don't know but that that's what caused it. Because someone chopped down some trees. I'm not naming names. <laughs> and it wasn't my dad. Because trees were chopped down by unknown parties. It's the trees being chopped down is the important part here. I am a bit more optimistic about the prospects of chopping down evil choking vines than I am about beautiful cherry blossom trees. Yeah, I can see that. Well, um, do you want to try talking with them first? I mean, I, could I, do I, won't, that. I won't say that there's a 0% chance that these vines don't come alive and attack us, but I mean, I, I think we're less likely to bring down a curse on the entire forest with these evil vines than we would with pretty trees. 
that's that's well, my point. If they will stand back on the path and be ready in action to it. <laughs> fire uh, elders blast if any trees start getting fresh with uh bonks or angelica <laughs> okay so what's the uh, what's the plan do they want me to talk to the thorny vines again no that's nope. no one wants nope. you to do that <laughs> nope. no one wants you to do that we want I you could... to take out that scimitar of yours and start hacking i could threaten them though with replanting them okay yeah. There is that. So what kind of check would we have to make to try and cut through that path? I why don't you make an attack roll with whatever you're choosing to attack it with? Okay. So I guess I'll heft my great axe. Mm-hmm. And I'll make an attack it's roll. A good then. choice of chopping weapon. I thought so too. How does a twenty, a dirty twenty do? Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll some damage. I shall. How does... Oh, a big five do. Okay. Yeah, so you swing your uh, great axe, and it does slashing damage? Yes. Yes, I assume. Well, yeah. I wouldn't How many do damage? or piercing, probably, so yeah. No. Five? five. So you swing your great axe at these... Um, thorny vines and you definitely cut through a fairly reasonably sized chunk of them there's a lot left mm -hmm. but you but i'm making progress you made you made headway a little bit of headway. all right well then i'll just spend a few actions chopping chop 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 can we just keep rolling or yeah and anyone if angelica's up there helping with her scimitar what kind of um damage does your scimitar do slashing yeah then <clears throat> make it make attack rolls i got a 21. okay roll your damage still hanging back yeah uh, Zof's back with easter but Zof's not preparing anything they're just kind of 13. like watching okay that was a good chunk of them but there's still some left this is 16 hit. Yep. And I got six damage. All right. So Angelica takes another a swing this time and takes out most of the rest of them, but there's still a little tiny bit left. All right. Get them again. That's a dirt, another dirty 20. Great. And that is six damage. All right, and then with a great swing, you clear the rest of them out of the way. All right. Now you've got a bunch of thorny vines and piles on the ground, but they're no longer blocking the path. Okay. Is there any like visible regrowth? Make a perception check at disadvantage oh. because it is you're still in fog. It's not incredibly thick fog, but it's still patchy fog. Uh, that's bad. Um, let's see. Perception. Six. Yeah. It's just so um, much fog in my eyes. It's real hard to see without getting up real close to him. I'm up mm -hmm. close. Can I also try? Yeah, at disadvantage. All right. Oh, what did you get on yours? You got a six? six. I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> let's just go forward, a, then. I rolled a 16 and a two. You stare for a second. <laughs> hmm, looks safe to me. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be moving, but it's so, like, you're feeling a little bit like, whoa, that was a lot of effort. Yeah, okay. A little dizzy. A little winded. A little winded, <sighs> yeah. All right, well, looks fine to me. Yeah. Let's go. Sure. All let's good. Then. All right, let's go. All right, so you go through the path, carefully avoiding the uh, thorns on the fallen vines. Yeah, you can like brush them aside or something with a weapon or... Yeah, absolutely. Whatever. Or a hand. And you continue west. The path opens up into a quiet clearing. The fog overhead is thinned enough to permit a few sunbeams to fall into the center of the clearing, where a lone elf lies motionless on the forest floor. 
She wears a uniform with a glass blade insignia on the sleeve. Oh. And a rusted glaive lies abandoned beside her. Looking around, you catch a glimpse of pink blossoms through the canopy to the north. But the only path exiting this clearing is behind you to the east, back through the fallen curtain of thick, tangled thorny vines that you had dealt with just before. Hmm. Uh, Blossom, do you recognize that elf? I'm sorry, I'm Blossom. It's like, who are you talking to? Blossom's like looking at you for a while. Like, Blossom's what? like, sorry, She's I'm really still distracted. Looking. I'm still distracted. I don't know why, but I heard Easter in my head and I was like, no, she said Blossom. All right. I was like, why did you ask Easter? Easter doesn't know any. Okay. Um, Blossom kind of looks around cautiously. Ooh. Um. And she kind of steps tentative, tentatively into the clearing. And she says, well, I make it a habit not to, uh, not to fraternize with anyone from Uthodurn, that's for sure. That looks like someone from Uthodurn. That's all I know. Wait, um, he's going to like put down, put the goggles on. He says, I don't trust anything in this forest. And it's going to try and see if that's an illusion. Okay. Make the perception check. Or, yeah, perception check. I forget what the goggles do. They give you advantage uh, on you arcana. Advantage arcana checks. Yeah. Yeah. Reveal this information would... about the creature or object I can see. Yeah, I'll let you do an arcana check. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. How can I roll this badly? <laughs> I don't understand. I rolled a four and a three. Um, oh, wow. one, one die. So that's a seven with advantage. This forest is spooky and it's real hard to tell. It looks convincing, but you don't trust yourself and you don't trust the forest. All right. Yeah. Well, if it is a person and they're in trouble, then they need our help. And if it's an illusion and it's a trap, then we'll get out of it. So Zo strides forward. Oh, wait. Can I roll perception it's before the... he does that? The fallen elf. Yeah, at disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. Okay. It's kind of it's foggy uh, all yeah. throughout Set the forest. Slightly. Okay. Easter, bl fine. Easter blames the fog for the. For all right. Check. Well, I, that, never mind. I didn't notice anything either. Yeah. <laughs> Logs off. Moves forward. I just have to say, as a DM, it is so satisfying whenever I get to give Zach disadvantage because of all the times he weaseled his way into getting advantage for every single thing he ever did in campaign one. Just saying. I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I see Balance will be better in campaign two. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zof, what were you? Campaign two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Zof resolved that if it's a person and they're in trouble, then they need our help. And if it is a trap, then we'll get out of it. Uh, so they stride forward and uh, kind of kneels next to the elf and... Uh, can I can I like make a medicine check to see Absolutely. if they're alive? Yep. Okay. They're Not close enough that medicine. Medicine. they don't have to do this at disadvantage, right? Yeah, you don't have to do this at disadvantage. <laughs> well, I got a 12. Okay. Um, so you kneel down next to this woman's body and very quickly uh, realize that she is dead. Um you can see that she has what look like fatal wounds all across her torso. And a little bit of a closer look reveals that there is a little bit of that same kind of reddish blackish corruption around the edges of her wounds. Um, to you, it looks like these were made either by tusks or, or maybe antlers. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll look up at the group and I'll say, well, uh, she's dead uh, and her wounds look like they were inflicted by corrupted animals. 
But it is interesting to note that there's a bit of that corruption lingering here in the wounds, which is something I don't think we've seen so far. So uh, be careful of that. Uh, but hey, Bonks, uh, weren't you hey. interested in maybe becoming a glass blade or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Just a little bit. Why? Oh, I just thought maybe bringing news of, you know, one of the members' demise. Mm. Uh, or maybe if we could bring back the body or, or, or something like that, maybe there was a way to help your... That's not a bad idea. Yeah, so I guess Bonks will approach the body and um, maybe try and search for, like, a... If she had, like, mission orders or something, some documentation or, like, identification on her. Sure, yeah, make an investigation check. Okay. So full help. Great. Take advantage. Sweet. I needed it because I rolled a one on one of them. Uh, so that is a 17. All right. Sona, don't even. <laughs> All right. So you um, kind of are very gingerly trying to look into her pockets or, or trying to see if she has anything on her that would kind of give you some more information about her. Um, you find, in addition to the, the rusted glaive that she kind of was, that had fallen beside her, um, she has a dagger in her belt that's actually, looks just like a, an ordinary da dagger, but it does have like some um, decorative kind of inscriptions on the hilt okay. um, that you think might be helpful in identifying her. Um, and you also find a coin purse. Okay. Um, so just the dagger and the coin purse? Mm-hmm. Pass, pass me that dagger. I read Elvish. Okay. I'll give Issa the dagger. I'll look at it. Sure. Yeah, there's no words. It's just um, a design. Oh, okay. I'll pass yeah. it back. Okay. So where do you where do you sit on the uh, the moral quandary of taking money from the dead? I mean, they don't need it, but at the same time, it feels a little dirty, right? You said Zof. Oh, did I say Zof? Yeah, Bonks. You, Bonks? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I'm like I'm like wait, is he, is he having one of those other experiences again? Maybe, I'm like maybe one of, maybe one of their past lives. Was yeah, is he gonna hang on? Let's watch him. So, uh, the only past life I know about was named Jelena, so. That's not so... the case. I, I just had a weird mind blip thing. <laughs> I meant bonks. How do you feel about that? I mean, given what we, you know, we went to Ergon's house and, I mean. That's true. I guess... And there was that dead guy who we spent like three nights living in the tent. I suppose, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, we did that too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I guess we're no strangers that. to taking things from dead people. Yeah. Um, also, I, I guess if we do bring these things to Uthadurn, if we end up going there, then, I mean, we can always just give it to their family. That's true. Or, you know, whoever. Um, it's possible this feels different to me because this woman was clearly killed, you know, um, in, a, in a violent way. I don't know. I wonder what she was doing here in the first place. She probably had it coming to her, if you ask me. Running running from the corruption and seeking refuge? Or what was she doing here? I don't know. I couldn't find anything aside from the dagger and this coin purse, so... Hero is making the cutest face. <laughs> I know, like... you're such a sweetie. I know. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I guess right. um, so... Bonks will grab the <laughs> glaive dagger and the coin purse and say, yeah, I guess we'll just take these to Uthadurn with us and, you know, see what we can do with them. Um, As the player, if there's one thing I know, it's that polishing up the rusted weapons usually yields good weapons. I was <laughs> about to ask, can I take that glaive and cast mending on it a few times? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sure, yeah. You can do that. You can add a glaive to your inventory. There you go. Cool. There you go. All right. 
Otherwise, I mean, is there anything else here that we should do? You said there was one exit, right? Or was it? No, right now we got, we could go south again. Oh, oh, from the, from here? Yeah. Yeah, from only here. Back east. back east. It's the only way back from here. Oh, okay. Well. Um, it looks like, it looks like north, like if we could get north, if we could go north past those branches, which I don't think we can, but it feels like that's kind of where we need to be. I thought we were going to go, s okay, I don't know. I, I've, I've lost complete, I've lost direction. I don't know where we are. Well, from here, we can only go back the way we came. And yeah. from there, we can go in a goalie tunnel or... South again. Which is not the way we want to go. I vote well, goalie tunnel. Goalie tunnel goes east. Um, okay. I mean, it's not a bad idea. But if if this path is going to wind down around like south and then back the other way, past this thing, feels like that might be it. But I am curious about that goalie tunnel, too. <laughs> I'm looking sometimes, at case Sometimes face. <laughs> goalie tunnels contain treasure. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Uh, God, the, the, dr the dragon instincts in me say that goalie tunnel. <laughs> hey, Kay. Yes. Do you want, for the knife, do you want me to note it down as just a knife? Or is, should I say, like, knife from elven person or something like that? Um. Yeah, I mean, you can note it as, like, an engraved dagger from glass blade elf. Okay, sure. Or fallen, fallen glass blade elf, or something like that. Okay. As long as you can remember where you got it. Yep. I'm really impressed at your. Um, I don't know what the word is. How well you're able to fight the temptation of opening that coin purse to see what's inside. I didn't even think about it, to be honest. <laughs> so it definitely has stuff in it. I mean, I, I mean, you can could. tell it's it's got coins in it. I think we discussed and come to the conclusion that we're morally within our rights to open this purse. Yeah, but I think Bonks is more considering the current mission and doesn't think that whatever is in a coin purse is going to be helpful to us. So he just like That's fair. puts it away for I now. I want to open it later. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Make sure you write down where you got that too, then, so I'll be able I to tell you what's do. in it later. Okay. Let's go across the way to the tunnel. So you go east, mm -hmm. back into the previous area where the ground has partially collapsed, forming a gully on the east side. You can see again that glimpse of pink blossoms through the canopy to the northwest. And the path continues north and south along the western edge of the gully, but there's the tunnel within the gully leading for, further east. And that's where you're heading. Okay. Oh boy. Thank you for restating all that because I think I think I'm absolutely yep. wrong. Can, sorry, can mm -hmm. someone spell Savalier for me? S-A-V-A-L-I-R. -A -A -I, I need just one person to spell. <laughs> sorry. S-A-V-A-L-I-R. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, is this the kind of tunnel that we're going to have to, like, get down on our hands and knees to crawl through? Uh, no, you can probably, like, kind of hunch, but get through it. Um, anyway. That You'll have to go single file, though. So is your marching order going to be what it has been the whole time? Angelica, Blossom, Easter, Zof, Bonks. Okay. That's what I have written down. Sounds okay. That's a good thing. Why is Indelika in the front? Okay, that's happening. Well, because she wanted to, is... you know, try and guide the commune way. With nature. And... Yeah. Commune with nature. That's, that's right. It's been working out <laughs> fabulously. So it so has. Maybe, keep it maybe up. for maybe for tunnel, it would make sense to put Bonks in front. I don't mind. Okay. So I we'll have dark vision, so Bonks and Angelica. I don't know if that helps or not. Where did I put my pen? Uh, Hito, what did you do with my pen? Everyone oh, has dark vision now. Oh, do we all? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? Okay. E Easter took a class feature just so she could have dark vision to keep up with the rest of y'all. Right. <laughs> Dragonborn don't normally get dark vision, but the type of wild mount Dragonborn that Zoph is does. 
However, I don't get lightning resistance, which would have been great against the wisps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you took what one hit from them, though, right? So that that was okay. That wasn't yeah, too bad. Yeah, they took yeah. one hit, and it was only the temporary hit points. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good thing they were bad shots. <laughs> also, your internet's been perfectly fine this whole time. Yeah, it's been I great. Say that. So. Yeah, oh, we're, you know, we're all jinxed again. now. <laughs> no. Well, all right. So you Double all jinxed. kind of crouch. Bonx has to crouch more than the rest of you. Angelica too. Angelica's pretty tall too, isn't she? You have to kind of hunch, hunch down to get through. And you enter the tunnel. The twisting tunnel opens up into a dark cavern littered with rocks and boulders. All visible surfaces are covered in thick black moss, making it eerily quiet inside. There are two tunnels leading out of this cavern. One leading south deeper into the cavern and the one behind you leading west back to the surface. As you take in the cavern, a palpable sense of foreboding creeps over you. Maybe I was wrong about the, the tunnel. Yeah, great looking treasure. It's all black and mossy. <laughs> um, I'm going to use Mage Hand to scrape off some of the moss from the wall. OK. You can do that. Uh, is there anything underneath? Uh, make a perception check at disadvantage. Is it foggy in here? No, it's not foggy in here. You're right. Just a normal perception check, then. Okay. I'm going to make so many perception checks here. <laughs> Look at everything. Uh, I got a lousy nine. Hey, um, yeah. So it looks like just rock wall under the moss. Okay. Not much interesting here. Do we want to go south? Feels real creepy in here, and south is kind of the opposite of where we want to go, right? I mean... As long as we're here, we might as well check everything, right? Mm, oh, we I haven't. So. I'm just saying on this like map, I'm just kind of scratching out. I haven't seen a good way to go where I think we're supposed to go without getting all the way back to the beginning of this maze. Well, also judging back from the fern that was pointing south, that I thought that sounded like the right way, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, there is also that. So. Yeah. And also, even if we go back up out the tunnel again, our only option is south. It's just true. overland, right? It's true. May as well. Okay. Lead the way, Bunks. All right. Here we go. What's your um, AC, Bunks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really high. It's like 30 something. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your ac really it's 14 14 all right so you enter this cavern and you start making your way toward the southern tunnel and suddenly this creature pops out of the shadows right next to you and lash, lashes at you with its claws ah. and you take seven slashing damage oh, and i, I need you it. to make a constitution saving throw do I know what this creature is? I'll get there in a second. Sure. Okay. Let me do that. Oh, that is. Nope. Nope. There we go. Seven damage and a constitution save. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not bad. Let's say 16. Uh, okay. So you're fine. Hero, I need you to chill out. Chill out, please. Here. There you go. All right. Um, and then let's see. It's a spider, isn't it? <laughs> no. Well, that would mean it has mandibles. All right. So you kind of, it happens so fast that you don't really get a good look at it. But after taking this, like, the claws right to it, you're ugh, right oh. to your chest or whatever. Sorry, Hero's like really claws. trying to escape. And I'm like, mm. if I let you down there, Luna is going to attack you. I just know it. It's going to happen, but it's combat anyway, so we're going to roll with it. You take this attack to your chest, and you look up, shocked, and there is this giant, uh, not really giant, it's actually 
smaller than you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> giant, but big because it looks like a giant bug. That's what I was okay. going to say. Um, kind of this kind of awful jaundiced yellow color with just a hairy carapace and long, like, scorp- mm, 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 lobster-like just kind of pinchers. Lobster pinchers. Lobster-like, like crustaceous pinchers okay. and spindly legs. And it's just like growling at you. And let's see. Jeez. Yeah. And then another one pops up next to Blossom and tries to get her with its claws, but she manages to kind of weave out of the way and she's saying, Whoa! Um, and I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. And I'm going to draw a map. Already done. Yeah. All right. These things are an eyesore, just trying to imagine them. So. And if somebody could roll initiative for Blossom, that would be great. Um, her bonus is two. Do these things have mandibles? I feel uh, like yes, they mostly, do. Mostly <laughs> All right. All right. Um, Initiatives, 25 to 20. Uh, oh. Blossom. Bonks. Give me the numbers. Go ahead. Uh, 21 for Blossom. 22. Okay. What's your deck score, Bonks? Uh, fourteen. Okay. Got a natural twenty. Oh, nice. Okay. On my initiative. <laughs> okay. Um. Oops. Then we have uh twenty to fifteen. Um. Right. Got a fifteen. Fifteen to ten. Twelve for Easter. Ten for guys are always together. That's great. Thirteen for Angelica. Thirteen for Angelica. Okay. Wait, what did you get, Easter? Twelve. Oh, so Angelica's actually in front of you. Yeah. We are now separated. Me and my oh, no. familiar. Sorry. I'll at least real quick. Your no, at tactics. least Riot gets to go first though. Because that's what you need is for Riot to go before you. Um and then bringing up the rear all right as always whoosh, whoosh. bonks you're up okay after taking that blow to the chest bonks will put his glasses away and fly into a rage great and so what can so you okay never mind you know i'm not gonna make you redescribe these things because i just do not have a clear picture of what they look like lobster claws i will i will show you carapaces and mandibles, and, that's, and then my brain just shut off right there. And then I was like, okay, these things need to... Let me pull up a picture for you. They need to go away. So let me get rid of a rage. I was very excited for the chance to use these because they're creepy as hell. They sounded that way, yeah. Oh no! My charger just ran away. <laughs> when I plugged it, it was like, bye. Oh my god. Oh, hi, Dimitri. She just wanted <laughs> to show off Dimitri. I just wanted to show off Dimitri. There we go. They are who I thought they were. Yeah. Oh, those things. Cruises. Yep. That's okay. what they look like. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to bonk them. So, Please do. Uh, wait, let me look at the map here. Where are we all at here? So there's two of them. There are two of them. And there is one here. Uh-huh. I'm going to mark it as red. And then there is one here. Okay. It's blue. The blue one. Oops. And I'm the purple one, right? Uh, the purple one is Blossom. Oh. You're am... this one here. Oh, okay. You're, 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 you're um, Zant. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Who's Zant? Who is that? Who's Hunter? I don't know. I'm gonna know. do reckless attack, and I am gonna attack the one to my one right next to me. Yep. Do right. it. We'll do, do it. it. Oh, and... I also before you do anything. Okay, I won't do it. Never mind. Before you do anything, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, do I get Thaddeus Azara? Who's Thaddeus? Dang it. <laughs> but got... What about like Heroes Feast? Yeah. Uh, I got an eight. Okay, you are frightened. Dang it. 
All right. By which one? Uh, technically, it doesn't matter either of them. It does matter. I think. Yeah, you it can't does. willingly go closer to the one that you're frightened of. And I have adva I have disadvantage on the one that frightened me. So. Well, you're. I mean, you technically would have had to make the save for being within ten feet of them, and you're within ten feet of both of them. So I don't know then? if that means you have to make it twice. I don't know if you can be double frightened, but yeah, I think <laughs> we'll say you're frightened, frightened by multiple sources, right? All right, make it make it again then. Right. I'm not going to argue with that. I got a five. <laughs> frightened hey, you're frightened both. of both of them. Crap! Right. <laughs> That's hoping well. to not be frightened of one. <laughs> okay, well. All right. So you have disadvantage <sighs> on ability checks and attack rolls while the source appears within line of sight, and you can't willingly move closer to the source of your fear, mm. but you. You don't have to move away, but you can't move closer. All right. Well, but you're still right next to it, so you can still attack. You'll just have <laughs> disadvantage. But uh, you rage, so you rage you... giggles. Yeah. So oh, you reckless, just... so it'll be. Yeah, well, I I might change it now because yeah. I didn't realize this was gonna happen. Um, <laughs> I might just keep my glasses here. on. Yeah, I'm going to put my glasses back on for a turn. Uh, never mind. Um, no, I'll uh, I'll just do an attack against the one next to me, I guess. Yeah. Are you recklessing? No. Raging recklessing? No, then it's a disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, I got a 17, though. That hits. Okay, so then I will bring down the mall again, and then the spirit comes out and starts harassing the one next to me. See, everyone sees this sort of like ghostly image sort you of You have to place it somewhere? I nope. can't remember. It's just on, no, the, it's just, just on the creature. It's just on the creature. Yeah. Alright, then I'm gonna just give it some hair. Then. Um, And let me roll damage. And that oh, is... Ah, come back! Seven, ten, Unicorns just rolling all over the field. Plus, <laughs> I can never find this. When you use hair... Wait, was it there or was a, it there? A status effect. Is that called giving it conditioner? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Was, was it here it was or there, was it... It was there. Yeah, it was yeah, there. Uh, okay. 12 damage, okay. by the way. Bludgeoning. Okay. All right. Frightened. It's catching. See, it's not only Angelica. <laughs> hmm. We knew that, though. Right in the mandibles. Yeah. That was the goal. I'm like, I don't so like what these is things. your what is remind me what your ancestor does? Yeah. So let me find him. Um, Take it on the chin. While raging, the first creature you hit with an attack on your turn has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against you. You're and not raging, right? Or are you? I am raging. raging. Uh, okay. And when the target hits a creature other than you, they have resistance to the damage dealt by that attack. When a creature hits a target that's not you, so your your the target has resistance to the damage. They the enemy that attacks has disadvantage on the attack roll, and the person they hit has has resistance to the damage. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anything else? Or are you just gonna stay put? Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Then it is their turn, and you need to stay here because if you don't, Luna's going to attack you. He looks at the camera <laughs> like you want that. I'd like to see her try. And the baby is <laughs> trying to sleep, so we need you to be quiet right now. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Okay. Um, all right. So it's the mean lock's turn. The one here next to Sant is going to swipe his claws at, at you again. Um, all right, so you did not reckless. No. And the ancestor only gives disadvantage against other targets. Other targets. So it's going to be a straight roll. Oops, that's not very good. That's only a 10. Miss. Oh, he's going to miss you, I believe. And I don't miss him, though. Ugh. And, okay, all right, this isn't working either. You come out here. <laughs> the hero struggles. Are oh, right. my God. He just won't settle down. He's like, I want to leave. I want to go to my bed out in the living room. Um, all right. And then the other one is going to... Um, 
I think it's gonna come here. Boom! And attack Easter. Oh. And that, that is not a mile away from the battle. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sixteen to hit. That'll hit. All right, you take seven slashing damage, and I need you to make a con save. Okay. Uh, Six. That passes, right? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so these claws swipe your arm, and you feel your muscles seize up, and you are paralyzed. It's Blossom's turn. Um, out of my turn, can I call something to Blossom? Yes. Uh, Blossom, step back towards Easter if you can. Okay. Basically, I want her to clear me a line there. Yeah, yeah. She a says, line of mean locks. Yep, she says, all right. All right. And she's going to, she has to make her saving throw, though. Hero, seriously, stop that. All right. I am like, what? What? So many tabs open. So many tabs. Wisdom. Oh, that's not good. I don't think that's a pass, dear. I don't think that's a pass at all. Um, nope, that's a big fail. So she is, oh, I guess I have to do, she's within both of them too. So that's a pass. So she's scared of this one. She's not scared of that one. So she will back up one. And then she is going to um, use her bonus action to cast Shillelagh on her quarterstaff again. And she will try to thwack this one. But I believe she would have disadvantage. She would have disadvantage anyway because. She can see the other one. She can still see the other one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh boy. She rolled a two and a three. Whip. Great, great start. Great start. How are these guys worse than the Will O Wisps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somehow. <laughs> All right. It is Riot's turn. Riot is going to need to make that saving throw. Oh, the uh, wisdom. The wisdom save. Yeah. Riot rolled the same thing Easter did on her save, so she's also afraid. Well, Easter's not afraid. Easter's paralyzed. Um, yeah. But a six isn't DC... going to do anything, is what I'm saying. No, the six isn't. Um, I need her to roll it twice. Oh, okay. She's within 10 feet of the other one. And then I roll a four and both die. These are d20s, right? <laughs> That's the third time consecutively that I've rolled a four. That sucks. Yeah. All uh, right. So she's scared of both of them. That makes it easy. Is she within ten feet of the other one though? Because she's the pink unicorn, right? She's. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Okay. You're so right. Just, I just thought she was one. the purple one, but that's blossom. So she's just scared of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I had real quick looked up whether, uh, <laughs> whether or not uh Riot was capable of grappling Easter, but she is not. Uh, if you can only grapple things that are uh, no more Same than size. One, one size category above you. Oh, oh. Okay. We need right. to make Easter into a small creature. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there. Um, what can Riot do? Can Riot do that advantage thing on somebody else? Like help um, somebody else? Riot can't move closer, really. Oh, mm. hang on. Um, well... Okay, would you say that this fear effect stuff is a magical effect? Mm. That's a really good question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then Riot has advantage on these rolls. Yeah. On that first one, she rolled a 13, and the second one, she actually rolled a 16. She, oh, did you just roll both again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she passes. Sweet. Okay. So oh, she's nice. not afraid. Yep. Um, but she also is very limited in what she can do. Um, man. Sorry. Uh, this is going to take me a minute to figure this out. All, All right. right. I like the name of the camera, by the way. 
I don't know what happened. Uh, when when we restarted the camera for this combat, it reverted to your name. So I used my oh, so you changed it. I used my power to change the name of the. <laughs> I was like, I definitely didn't do that, but thank you. <laughs> Whoever did it, it's good. It was me the whole time. Nice job. <laughs> Soap dolls over X. Soap dolls over X. Um, poof. Okay. She's going to go. She's going to fly around Easter down next to the one south of Easter and use the help action to help. Here? Yeah. To help somebody get a hit in. Do you have to pick someone uh, that she's helping? I think help action is like your next, the next attack. Let's see. The next attack. Okay. Um, you look, look that up and then we'll have yeah, uh, Angelica a, can, take her turn. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. You can aid a friendly creature. So I actually do get to pick. Yeah, that's what um, I was going to say. So. I think she's going to help Bonks, actually. Okay. All right. You don't mind just okay. reminding me on my turn? Yeah. Oh. Um, and in that case, if that's what she's going to do, she's going to fly over to the other one. Oh, but then she's going to have to make that. Oh, she already made well, that. Well, because she was here, but yeah, she'll have uh, to make the save if can, she gets close. I can still hit that one. Yeah. I have 10 feet of range, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, then let's do that then. All right, okay. that's the end of my turn. Sorry about that. Okay. No, you're good. Angelica, you're up. Great bonfire, I guess. I need you to roll. Yeah, I need you to roll one wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm good at those. That is a plus 619. There we go. Yes, that's fine. You're good. So you're going to create bonfire? Mm -hmm. Under which one? The one with the yellow hair. Mm. Good choice. The hair will probably make it burn better. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> looks flammable. She, it needs a perm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing this bug-like thing with like a yellow afro now. All right, what like kind of save is that again? Is it yeah, a deck, deck, a deck <laughs> save? A deck save. Okay. 14. Okay. Yep, it fails. Roll that damage. Sweet. I can't unthink it. <laughs> That's just what they look the like in my head. has me dying. They have like, like one of them has a pompadour, the, the other one has like like another gangster haircut or something, like some big hair, <laughs> grease haircut or something. God. Seven just... fire damage. Hey. All right. They were just sitting in this cavern smoking cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> loitering somewhere. Like, man, what are you doing? Um, all right. Yep. And this one just <laughs> Next one, no the fire just inside. engulfing this insectoid. <laughs> Anything else in your turn? You're gonna move, you're gonna Um Yeah, uh Okay, which what I'm right there. I'm next to Blossom. You're this one. Oh, okay. Um, then I like where that is. I'll stay there. Okay. You are within 10 feet of this, this, um, guy though. So. Okay. Let's back up one then. Okay. I assume backup meant that way, but did you want to yeah. actually go up toward the boulder? Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Easter. Easter is paralyzed. Do You're paralyzed. A but you at can... the end of my turn? Yes. Okay. All right. Con two. Con roll good. It's another four. Team. Yeah. Hi. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. You managed to shake the paralysis off. Sweet. But you do lose your turn, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Zoth. Yeah. At least Zoth's I'm not going to get gonna... crit on. Zoth needs to make a wisdom save. That's right. They do indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a 16. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Zof uh, is going to kind of uh, duck and slide over one space to get a nice line with both of these bug-like creatures. 
uh, and then open their mouth with the little sparks of lightning kind of like sparking over their teeth again. And then <laughs> I need them okay, both how, to make sex. How thing. long is the line? 30 feet. Nice. Ooh. Yep. All right. And you said deck save? Yep. And what's the DC? Pretty low. Uh, 11. Well, this guy fails big time. Good. The other one succeeds. Okay. Well, even a success is still half damage. And I'm just trying okay. to figure out how much that is. Uh, cool. So it's 2d6. Uh, so it's six total. So half down to three. Okay. For the one that succeeded. Yep. All right. And they are just tangled from this lightning breath, is it? Mm -hmm. Lightning crackling everywhere. All right. Anything else on your turn? Uh, that's it. Okay. All right. Then we are back to Bonks. And I, you are no longer frightened, but you need to make the saves again. All right. Because you're within their, their auras again. OK, that's fine. So, um, two saves. So okay. Two wisdom so saves. Here's the left one. It's uh, an eight. Nope. Here's the right one. That's uh, a five. Wow. I'm so afraid. All right, you're afraid of both so of them afraid. again. OK, well. Um, that's fine because I don't have to move closer. I will. <laughs> oh. But you do have disadvantage. But you have advantage because it's right, it's helping you, that's so right. it's a straight roll. That's right. Okay, so I don't need to do reckless attack because it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. So yeah. I will make an attack against the left one that is surrounded right now. Right, because you'd need to do the left one to get the bonus from Riot. If you did this one, it wouldn't work. Exactly. So that is pretty good. That's a 17 to hit. That hits. Great. Uh, oh, we're not fighting Willow West anymore. That is, eh, it's about average, but that is seven. Let's see, that's 13, 14 damage. Okay. Nice. Wow. Bonk. Bonk. Am I doing my mouth right? on the head. Yes, I am. Okay. Right in the mouth, actually. <laughs> Anything not else? On the butt. Um, oh, and then I send the spirit on that one. On oh, the other one? Yep. So Tolkath. Wow. That's a cool choice. Flows into that one. You see wispy images uh. of a bugbear sort of getting in its way and blocking its advance when it's trying to strike out at somebody. Yep. All right. All right. Then it creepy. is. Creepy these... cave. It becomes creepy, creepy for them. I love things. it turn um the one next to bonks is actually yeah it's going to continue to attack bonks but it's going to leave the fire because you don't like that and claw attack Ooh, that's not bad that's a 16 to hit mm, me i'm guessing yes it hits uh, seven slashing damage and con saving throw. I'm going to have that damage down to three because I'm raging. <sighs> yep. And then I will roll the con save. Oh, okay. Now I can save. Okay. Well, that's 17. Yep. You're fine. All right. And this one is going to attack Soph because Soph just spit lightning in its face. A disadvantage. Yep. 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 And you're going to be resistant to this yeah. damage. Too, yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's cool, too. Uh, well, I rolled two 11s, so well, that's... HC is 11. Yeah, so no matter what the bonus is, that's going to hit. Resistance. But you are resistant, so you take three. I guess I could technically shield it, uh, but I don't think I would, so yeah, hit me with it. Yeah, three three slashing damage, but you do need to make that con save. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have shielded it. Uh... Too late! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay, con save. Here we go. Nine. You feel your muscles locking up as you become paralyzed. Uh, no. All right, and then it's Blossom's turn. 
These things really are worse than the will o <laughs> She's going to look around. How are you guys doing? Does anybody look real beaten up? Uh, look I've okay? lost a little bit of HP, but I'm fine, pretty much. You're still fine. All right, then Same. she's then she's going to just spin her quarter staff and try to attack with her quarter staff again. Oh, she needs to make that save again. I think. Yep. For both of them. So first one is woof. And this was a wisdom. Nope. Second one is worse. All right, so she's still frightened. So she gets disadvantage on her attack. Awesome blossom. Oh man, blossom, honey. Nope, she misses again. It's not rolling well tonight. She can't Whip. toss him. Um, and then riots up. All right. Uh, right. I need is... her to make. Oh yeah. Two. Wisdom save. Uh, she got a natural twenty from the first one. Nice. And the second one was unfortunately only a nine. Okay, so she's going to be scared of this one. Okay. Uh, that doesn't really change what she's going to do in her turn, which is just to uh, help Easter. Okay. All right, Angelica. Okay, so um, again, going to um, everybody's in the way, so I can't do my sling. You can you can use attacks through your allies. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can. You actually have a clear shot. Okay, there he is. Yeah. Oh yeah, he left he left the bonfire, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll get out my sling. Okay. Every little bit. Yep. And I assume you're attacking this this one here. Yeah, the yellow one. Okay. Yellow fur. Mm -hmm. Sing, singed door? singed yellow fur. Well, the other oh. one's the one that was in the bonfire, but the yellow fur that was the ancestor that got moved. It's not important. Oh, okay. Um, it is a 17. That hits. Roll, re roll your damage. Little bitty, little bitty D4. That is max damage. Five. Nice. Legending. Nice work. Yeah, so you just smack it right in the mandibles. <laughs> Knock its head back a little bit. Are well, you going to move anywhere? Do you have any bonus actions? Um, no, I'm I'm fine where I am. I'm a state. All right, Easter. All right, uh, Easter moves one space left, so right up above um, Zoph, and is going to cast um, Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Should I hex first? Yeah, I'll hex first. Bonus action hex. Okay. Um, and let's see if that I can use hit. a spell slot, or is that just like a you it's can a do spell it? Slot. Is yeah. that the one that we wait? Has it been an hour? Because you could just move. It, we took short you took rest, a short so, rest, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But I got that yeah. slot back, so it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. If if we take short rest, I get it back. If we don't, I just move it. Um, yep. so yeah. Yep. Uh, gonna make that roll. I have mm -hmm. advantage and disadvantage on this. <laughs> Uh, Wait, did you roll your wisdom saves at the top of your turn? No, I didn't. Do that first. Okay. Uh, because well, the frightened the frightened condition ends, but if you're still within the aura yeah. when you start, which you were here and you were within both when you started, so yeah. Um, let's see, wisdom save. Uh, it's a fourteen work. Yep. Okay, so I passed the first one, and the second one also. Yeah, that's also a success. Cool. So you're not afraid of them anymore. So you don't have disadvantage on your attacks. Great. Uh, but I do because it's a but you be, attack. Because, and, yeah. So yeah. It, yeah. I got there. <laughs> Within melee range. Um, I actually <laughs> rolled exactly the same thing I rolled on the first roll, which turned into my wisdom save roll. So it's exactly the same to hit. Does a 16 hit? Yes. All right. Sweet. Then I get to push it uh, below Bonx. Okay. Um, yeah, nice. ten spaces, it right? Doesn't die. Yeah, yeah. Well, ten feet, not ten spaces. Ooh, that'd be something. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I meant ten feet. <laughs> I Did I say ten spaces? 
Uh, let's see. Nine force, one necrotic damage. How do you want to kill it? Um, <laughs> this is so dumb. Um, <laughs> Easter sees one of... Um, I think Easter sees, like, the out of the corner of her eye, that space she cleared off with... Um, with Mage Hand on mm -hmm. on that boulder that's right below Riot, mm -hmm. and she banks the Eldritch Blast off of that space, and it crumbs into the thing. Mm -hmm. Great, and, and it doesn't ever even see it coming. It thinks she missed, and then it's dead. It's dead. It collapses. All right. What happens to your ancestors if the thing they're harassing dies? Do they just disappear? They just kind of come back to me, and then I can okay. do it again. Cool. All right. Uh, um, movement. I will move way the hell away from that thing. <laughs> uh, put me next to that little boulder in the north. Up here? Yeah. I don't want to be afraid of anything anymore. I'm just, I don't want to be magic afraid. I just want to be normal afraid. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Just normal afraid, not magic afraid. Um, all right. Zof, you're up. Paralyzed. And I need you to make you you're paralyzed. That's right. So I need you to make that con save. But you're not within ten feet of this thing, so you don't need to make wisdom yeah. save. Five. You're not frightened. Five. Continue to be paralyzed. You continue to be paralyzed. Poor Zo. Not All right. time today. Box. You're up. Okay. Can you make a wisdom save? From yes, I'll pass it this time too. Do it. Oh, I got a nineteen. Yeah, you're not frightened All anymore. Right. I'm done being afraid. All right. I'm not afraid anymore. That's right. Uh, and he is. Where's the one? The, the last one? Is it the. This one is right in front of you. Oh, it's just that one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just going to bonk it. Um, Do it. I'm going to make this attack reckless. Do it. And that's not a crit. But that's. I good. That's an 18, 19. That's 19 to hit still. That hits? Hi, Macha. Hi, Macha. <laughs> that is pretty good damage. Macha kisses. 12, 14, 15 damage this time. How do you want to do it? Hey. Oh, you know what I want to do. I think I just do like an upswing right in his mandibles and like and like pushes his hair out as well. His, his hairdo gets <laughs> ruined. <laughs> absolutely ruined by this hit. As he like goes, he like Gets lifted in the air and like falls backwards. All right. So this happens. This creature falls onto the ground and a hush falls into the eerily quiet moss covered cavern. Except for the sound of the crackling bonfire. Except for the sound of the crackling bonfire, which has devoured some of the moss on the on the ground. And oh. that is a good place to call it for the night. Okay. So we'll call it there. Pick up here next next time. So thank you everyone for tuning in to watch. I hope you're enjoying the spooky forest adventures and uh, we will be back here same time next week. Bye. Good night. Night. night.